is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. Ooh, I almost dropped my whole deck. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all are having an amazing day. Okay. Scorpios, we're going to dive into this thing. We're going to do a, a what's the tea reading here. See what's happening with you. Or what's going on in your energy. Now, remember, guys, Scorpios, okay? This could be you, your person, somebody you're connected to, or somebody that's in your energy. But we're just going to check in and see what's happening with you. Okay, what's going on with the Scorpios? I just did another reading, and it was the general reading for the, for the day. And it was deep, y'all. It was deep. So, we'll see what comes out. I'm interested. What's coming out for Scorpio? What is the energy for Scorpio for the West of T reading, please, Spirit? Energy for Scorpio for the West of T reading. Healing. Okay. How teachable are you? This, is, this looks like somebody's learning their lessons here. With this healing card, yeah. Somebody's learning their lessons, their healing sexuality discover your life purpose victim consciousness somebody is this is kind of like that that reading from the other i mean the energy from the other reading somebody may be dealing with like sexual addictions or some type of addictions here like they they allow temptation to get them off course in some sort of way this could be you or this could be you know somebody you're attached to as well but this person it seems like instead of them taking taking accountability, they normally go into the victim consciousness mindset. You know, like, oh, well, the reason why that happened is because of this person. Or the reason I'm like that is because of that. You know, with the sexuality, discover your life purpose, and victim consciousness. But Scorpio, I feel like this is something you've already mastered because I... I remember reading and doing a reading like a couple of months ago. You've already mastered this. So I feel like this could be somebody that's attached to you that's um, going through this here. Uh, but somebody's learning some, some hard lessons here, some hard life lessons um, about their life. Okay. Let's see. And if, if this isn't somebody else, this could be you. We're all on different time frames. You know, we all learn at different stages in our life. We all go through pretty much the same things, but, you know, in, in different ways, okay? It's kind of like the same lessons, just in different ways, taught in different ways, at different times of our lives. Sometimes you may not go through something until you're 30 that somebody went through at uh, 18. You see what I'm saying? So, all right, what's going on with Scorpio? Please, Spirit, what's this energy for Scorpio for the West of T reading? What's this energy for Scorpio for the West of T reading, please, Spirit? Energy for Scorpio for the West of T reading, please, Spirit. What's going on with Scorpio? Well, wow. what's going on with Scorpio? What is it that Scorpio needs to know, please, Spirit? What is it that Scorpio? Thank you. You got escapists. Come home to yourself. Bottom of the deck library. Take control of your own narrative. Okay, so somebody could be trying to like... Why am I, why am I seeing like a creepy person in the back of a crowd like trying not to be seen? That's what I'm saying. Like somebody trying to move in the shadows, like trying to... This is like somebody throwing a rock, hiding their hands. I got this in the other reading too. Like somebody throwing a rock not and trying to hide their hands. But it's like, if you're not in the crowd, they can't blame it on you. They can't say, oh, well, Scorpio did it. Scorpio did it. Because no, because Scorpio was at home chilling. <laughs> Scorpio wasn't there. <laughs> you can't blame it on Scorpio. Scorpio. Can't blame it on the drink. You wasn't drinking. Can't blame it on the weed because you wasn't smoking. You know what I'm saying? It's something like, I don't know. It's something... We're going to see. All right, escapist. Everyone, everyone wants to escape their lives occasionally. Some of us like to binge watch shows. Some of us like to listen to music. Some of us like to read. And some of us like to leave it all behind and go on vacation. All of, all of that is totally healthy. Our lives can get incredibly stressful. However, too much escapism can mean that you're not confronting a big problem, which isn't healthy for you. Face it head on and let the pieces fall wherever they may. So I'm telling you, it's that energy like somebody is throwing rocks, hiding their hands. Somebody don't want to admit to why certain situations aren't working out because they don't want to take accountability. Somebody's not working. Somebody's running from accountability here. Okay, let's see. let's clarify this. See what's going on with Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Okay, what's this energy? Escapism, healing. What is this about? Emotional abuse. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is temperamental. Energy vampires here as well. Okay. Alone time. Yeah. Somebody 
this is okay this is like a person this is like a person that has went through a, a relationship and they deal with you know emotional abuse or trauma or something like that and instead of taking the time out to heal they jump into another relationship with this emotional abuse they haven't given themselves time to heal and then somebody's realizing that somebody does this because they're they're an energy vampire they they feed and this is easy when when when, when you're like this when you don't take the time to heal and you went through shit emotionally, it's easy for this type of person to latch on to you. You see what I'm saying? And feed into you, feed into your head, you know, tell you things to get you. I mean, literally like treat you like a puppet. Thank you, spirit. Yes. Treat you like a puppet. You see how this puppet person is puppeteering this woman? When you're, when you're in this state. When you're going through this emotional abuse where you've went like you you don't know you you don't know up from down you don't know left from right and i can the reason i can say this because i've went through this y'all and so it's like anybody could come in your life and they can like literally play with you like you nothing you you know what i'm saying like they can have control of you and be like well the reason why you feel like this is because you're angry yeah i am angry i am angry you're not angry you're hurt you're hurt you need to heal you need to Go within and find out why am I hurting? Why do I feel this way? Why am I with this person? Like, and you could end up getting this, like you know, going through an emotional, uh, uh, an emotional attachment, and then you know you get used to it, you know. And then instead, when you get to being by yourself, you're like, this don't even feel right because you're so fucked up in the head. You're like, this don't even feel right for me to be by myself and try to work on healing because it's painful. I it's like a an addiction. You see what I'm saying? Temperamental is coming out. So somebody is like, it's like somebody's healing, but somebody doesn't want them to. Like somebody still wants to puppeteer them, like control them because they're an energy vampire. That's what a leech does. You know, they, they need to leech and latch onto you to keep feeding. So somebody doesn't, somebody get mad, somebody get angry. There's somebody yelling all the damn time. Honey, all that hollering shit. Ugh. It's like somebody going off, like somebody flipping the script. But this is it's a, it's a part of their control. But see, a long time, someone needs time for themselves. This is somebody that's trying to, it's like they want to get by themselves. They want to be by themselves. But it's like this person, this energy vampire, they, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody with a sex addiction. I can't be too late. My kids in the living room. But somebody with a sex addiction. And then they trying to like break away from it and do right and get on a good path. But then they got this one person that keep coming to them like, no, let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. You know, that. Then they get mad at them. Well, you know what? Fuck it then. Don't call me. Don't da da da. You, you know. Okay. Anyways, it's, it's abuse. It's a form of abuse. Stripped and cleansed. You're being purified by spirit. And red flags. Somebody's starting to see the red flags. This is somebody waking in, waking up. This is somebody going through their awakening. I like this. This is somebody going through their awakening because they're realizing this isn't healthy. This isn't good. I need to. I need to focus on me. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, these readings are deep today. Wow. Okay. Okay. Give me some more, please, spirit. Give me some more, please, spirit. What's going on with the escapists and healing? For Scorpio, please, Spirit. If this is you, Scorpio, I'm so proud of you. This is good. And it's not going to be an overnight thing. Whoever this is for, it's not going to be an overnight thing. It's not going to happen in 24 hours, in a week, two weeks. This could take months, years. To, it's a lifetime. It, it's Every day you have to heal something. Every day. I don't care what nobody say. Every day you have to heal something. You can be driving in your car. You get at a red light. Somebody to pissed you off because they done pulled them. You like, you dumb bitch. Why, why is you blasting at me? It's something you got to heal. You see what I'm saying? Every day, I cry for help. Yeah, somebody's crying out. Somebody wants help, but perfectionist. They may not know how to ask for it. Because maybe somebody sees them as perfect. Or maybe somebody sees them as the person that, oh, nothing's wrong with their life. is going good. Nothing's wrong with them. Da, da, da. They find, ain't nothing wrong with them. They're coming off as perfect or they want the world to see them as perfect, but they dying inside. You see what I'm saying? Or they just, they struggling. This could be somebody that dress, you know, you come on now. And people that dress up all nice, look all pretty. They go out, they do their job and people are like, wow, they got the perfect life and behind closed doors, they getting their ass beat. Or they get, they on drugs. Nobody sees it because they come out as perfect. 
this is this is what somebody is going through right now. Succubus seduces and manipulates men, prideful person. This could also be somebody that sleeps with multiple people to make themselves feel good. I mean, it could be beautiful, beautiful person. But they deal with codependency issues or they deal with a sex addiction or something like that. And this person may be too prideful to ask for help. This could be somebody, even somebody going through like a financial situation or something like that. They they want people to see them as like, oh, they good, they financially secure, they this, they that, right? But this is where the ego death come in at. Somebody's going to have to learn to put their pride to the side here. What's going on with Scorpio? Escape this with the healing card, please, spirit. Happy relationship. And this right here, whatever this is that they're going through is the reason why they're having problems finding a happy relationship or sustaining a happy relationship. Because they're dealing with internal stuff that needs to be fixed, that needs to be worked on. And they keep pushing it under the rug or, you know, but it's it's not helping. You, you got to heal. You can't just keep... Oh, well, that relationship didn't work out. Let me go to the next relationship. Oh, that relationship didn't work out because they was a piece of shit. Let me go to... Sometimes you got to turn around and look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? What did you do in that relationship? What did you not do in that relationship? What? Where could you have been better? What are your flaws? You can't always say, oh, well, that person was a piece of shit. Da -da 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 -da. Why do you keep attracting pieces of shit? You know? And a lot of people don't want to answer that question because it's like, you know, I mean, that... <laughs> <clears throat> make your chest burn but you know like it's it's why do i keep attracting pieces of shit why do i keep ending up with people that just want to cheat on me what what is it that attracts me to those types of energies you see what i'm saying like what is it that keeps allowing me to be with somebody that keeps cheating on me time and time and time and time again because i mean I, and again i can say this because i went through it and you have to sit there and you got to be real with yourself and this y'all the hardest person to be real with is yourself. Because <laughs> then you got to, you're the only person that can answer those questions. Why do I accept this person to keep cheating on me? Because I love them. Why do you love them? Well, I don't really know why I love them. Is it because of the years that I've spent with them? Huh? Or is it because of the children that I have with them? Huh? Does that make it acceptable to keep accepting this person to cheat on you? No. So why do you allow it? Because I don't want them to leave. Why don't you want them to leave? Because I have codependency issues. Why do you have codependency issues? Because as a child, I was abandoned. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got, to, you got to go back, 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 back. All the way to a child. To as far as you can remember. Why? This, this is what... Can't trust them. Gamble taking a risk. Why do you keep taking risks? Why do you keep... Why do you keep... Some of y'all, this is... Some of y'all, this is somebody that's, like, sleeping around. It's very promiscuous. And they don't really protect their tomb the universe the way that they should this whoever this is they keep taking risks yes yeah, sexual connection strictly sexual what i tell you this could be somebody dealing with a sex addiction y'all or that uses sex or uses relationships to justify or make them or, or make them feel who they are i don't know like this is somebody oh this is deep what's going on escapist and healing please here Broken promises. Yeah, someone has broken or is about to break a promise. This is broken promises, man. Hustler. Always hustling. Knows how to get what they want. See? And this is what you got to be careful of. Because when you're broken like this, when you're in, in, in an emotional down spiral like this or vulnerable in this way, this is what you attract. You could be in high vibration too, but this is what you attract. It's like more easily for you to be like, oh, yeah, let me give them a chance. You already know they ain't shit. You are already looking at them. They showing you they are a piece of shit. They treated the last person they was with a piece like a piece of shit. You might have sat there and watched. This person could have blatantly cheated on their husband to come get with you. And you're like, oh, yeah, this is <laughs> we're going to live happily ever after. Wait a minute. Backtrack. That person cheated on their husband to come sleep with you. What makes you think they ain't going to do you the same way? You need to be asking, why is that person cheating on their husband? What's, what's going on with them? You see what I'm saying? What's, what's, what's going on with you? Okay, well, y'all need to go to counseling. Y'all need to... You see what I'm saying? Why is somebody so quick to hop into bed with you? Or so quick to open up to you and do this type of stuff? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so yeah. This is type of the type of energy you attract right here. Is this hustler energy. Liar, gaslighting. Somebody that can manipulate. They can treat you like a puppet, you know? 
uh, when you're in this energy here. But somebody is, uh, yeah. Somebody needs some healing work done. That's all it is. Okay. Let's see. What else is going on with Scorpio that I need to see? Tell me more about Scorpio, please, Spirit. What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? We have tripping on you. Okay. Ball steady energy. Romantic love affair. This is somebody, yeah, crying over you. This is some, see, this is somebody that sleeps with multiple people, always has like secret love connections, friends with benefits here. This person could be like flipping out on you, taking it out on you, you know, saying you the reason why they the way they are, child neglect nightmares. This person could be dealing with abandonment issues here. This person may not be sleeping at night either. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? Hustling. Marrying for money. This is a user. Y'all, this is a user. It's someone that takes advantage, that uses you, that hustles to get what they want. And if you're in this broken energy or feeling like this, this person wants to come in. They want to play on your emotions to get out, to get what they can out of you here, whether it's money, finances, emotions, stability, whatever they can. This type of person, they use whatever they need to get what they want. Bad karma, facts. No facts, never has facts, makes shit up and lies. Somebody going through bad karma because of all the lies and betrayal that they've done. Okay, my bad, guys. I had to get my son ready for football. Okay, so bad karma and facts. No facts, uh, never has facts, makes shit up and lies. So what it looks like is somebody's about to experience is bad karma. That's what they're going through. And it's because of what they've been doing, how they've been manipulating, how they've been moving, using people, taking advantage of people here. What's going on? Broke ass is coming out. This person could be having financial problems, rejected, getting rejected by drama started, getting rejected by other people here. <sighs> this person is looking towards you. So you got some type of, you're attached to this person in some sort of way. Curious about you, dust it off. You're attached to this person in some sort of way here. But I feel like, Scorpio, you've already kind of let go of this person. Dirty offer, yeah. You've already let go of this person because you realize that this person can't give you a solid offer. Anytime they come towards you, it's always something attached to it. Like they either need something, want something, or groupie. Or there's always extra people in the mix or something like that. So you kind of let this person go. What's going on with Scorpio for this spirit? Yeah, bad karma. And that's their bad karma. So their bad karma is uh, losing you. Spiritual hater, impersonator on the bottom of the deck here. This per Y'all, this person, they either this is them or they hang with these type of people, okay? Somebody hates that you're spiritual, hates that you're intuitive, hates that you use your intuition, okay? Some of y'all could be, you know, full-blown spiritualist, you know, tarot, all that stuff, right? Um, <laughs> There's somebody that wants to be just like you. If this ain't that person, then this is somebody they hang around. Impersonator wants to be you, acts like, dresses like, looks like, and copies you. This is this could be somebody that they didn't mess around and got with that tries to come off like they you and stuff like that, but they hate on you. You hating, but you want to be like me. What? <laughs> Does that make sense? Stalker. Stalking, watching, obsessed. This person's very obsessed with you. Excuse me, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I drink coffee. Um, so this person is watching you. It's like they watch you to see what your next move is, to see what, you know, how you. Yeah, I hope y'all heard that bird in the background. That was so loud. Like this person watches you to see like how you move, how you how you do things, how you know what type of person you are here. Honey, wait. <laughs> What's going on with Scorpio? Threatened, intimidating, threatened, bothered. This person is bothered by you. They're intimidated by you. Legal issues ain't shit. Mm -mm. I don't know what the hell this person got going on, but they could be, they could be going to court. They may not be paying bills that they're supposed to be paying. They're getting sued and stuff. Honey, uh, -uh. what's going on with Scorpio? Please, spirit. Divination abuse. This person is a manipulative. This is not good. Um, 
this person could be casting like dark magic and shit like that. This person, yeah, they they not in vibing high in the good energy here. Crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, and moving on. Thank you, next. This person could be seeing you moving on and they're trying to like manipulate to get back into your energy in some sort of way. They could be watching tarot readings on you, overindulging in tarot, doing black magic, come to me spells, all that type of shit. So y'all need to be careful with this person. If this isn't you, then this is somebody they're attached to. Because I feel like this person is seeing you moving on and moving forward and they're crying and they're upset over you that you're doing this here. Yeah, they're stuck in their head, incarcerated. This could be someone that's in the penitentiary, that's in jail, curious about you, dusted off. Yeah, this is, I feel like this is somebody you've already left behind. Like you might have, you know, left behind this person, learned what you needed to from this person, you've moved forward. And this person is now still trying to like manipulate your energy to get back into your energy. What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? fed up yeah happiness hater yeah they don't want low iq this is a very low vibrational energy they not too damn smart apparently they fed up why why close to look nosy up in your business and dodging bullets uh first of all let me say you dodge the bullet with this person because whatever the hell they going through they again they need some they need isolation time they need time to work on themselves um some of y'all are tired of this person like, y'all may feel this person pulling on your energy. Like, if you ever say, like, you've been doing good, you've been feeling good, and then all of a sudden you get all emotional, you start think, thinking of that past person, you're like, I do kind of miss them. That's not your energy. Send that shit back. That's not yours. That's theirs. They're pulling on your energy. And I feel like this is what's going on. Like, this person's looking you up. They may be seeing you doing good, you know, moving on, moving forward, stuff like that. And they trying to, I'm some of y'all, they doing come to me spells. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, some of y'all could be in new relationships, happiness hater. This person's pissed off because they see you moving on in a new relationship, in a new connection. And they like, oh, hell no. Uh-uh, Scorpio, Scorpio thought they was going to move on from me. I think not. <laughs> let me put their picture on my altar. Let me, let me, let me, let me burn a couple of uh, uh, pink candles for them. No, uh-uh. Whatever hell they be doing. I don't know. Don't do that shit. I, it. Crosswatcher, whoever, need to hear it. Do not do that shit. You are not supposed to mess with somebody's free will. You're not. And if you do, baby, karma times 10 about to backfire and hit that ass. You better leave it alone. Okay. I don't know who need to hear that. These cute little spells and stuff they be doing on TikTok and shit. Y'all do it if you want to. Your ass gonna get towed up. I'm just saying. What's going on with Scorpio? Y'all got to be careful. The only stuff I recommend is clearing your energy and protecting yourself that's it manifest money you know stability abundance but you cannot manifest a person do not do that that is going against somebody's free will okay drama star yeah cock blocking this yeah scarcity tactic yeah see this is called okay mm. this is this could be somebody ain't sleeping with there's a lot of, it's a lot of drama in this energy could be a lot of people involved here ball steady and offer it's like somebody's trying to stir up drama to either keep this person from coming towards you or like evolving enough to come towards you like being in a real masculine true energy <sighs> others of you you could be like bossing the fuck up like you know females too you could be in your big dick energy where you running things making shit happen for yourself here and this person could be trying to cause drama to knock you off of uh knock you off of your horse or like keep people from coming towards you because i mean you're something to look at a boss daddy energy that's something to look at it is you just gotta be careful because some sometimes people be trying to come off like boss daddy but this one here boss daddy in an offer it looked like somebody you're worth having you see what i'm saying um what's going on with scorpio thief yeah fake flexing so somebody out here using people emotionally physically financially here taking advantage too busy winning and idle. Yeah, or they want to come back to you here and get this from you. Kissing ass and rejecting. But they know they're going to get rejected from you. Or they know that you're going to reject them because you see through them here. They could have used you at one point. Took what they needed to from you. Broke you down and then, you know, moved on to the next victim or the next person. You know, I'm going to say victim. Because if they're breaking you down to this point of emotional abuse, that's what that is. And then they try to try to like swipe smooth it over like oh no this is a happy relationship no the fuck it ain't we toxic as hell no we not and you ain't shit yeah mm -mm. 
What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? What's going on with Scorpio? Uninterested. Yeah, I don't even feel like you looking at this person. Facts. You may look at them as a liar. Like, all you do is lie. You lie, lie, lie like a rug. That's how to say. Yeah, reflecting. Karmic friends. Yeah. Some of y'all have, like, mutual friends with this person. I wouldn't consider them friends. But, you know, um, if they karmics, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But it says, can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Yeah. Uh, reflecting and facts. No facts. Never has facts. Make shit up and lies. Some of y'all are uninterested in this person because you just realize they fake. They fake and found me. What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? Haunted. Some, hell, some of y'all regret even uh, giving this person a chance. In their head, overthinking, stress, overanalyzing. This is like, you know what I'm saying? This is like, you ain't even that cute. And I gave you the opportunity to be with me. And you had the audacity to mistreat me? Like, seriously? Uh-uh. <laughs> Something like that. Or like, you weren't even on your shit the way you were, you were supposed to. And I, I gave you a chance and you didn't tell me you double wrong? Uh-uh. Somebody, others of you, somebody's like, they could have been sleeping with other people. Uh, other than you here, they could have caught a sexual case, okay, sexual infection or whatever. It's it's going through their head. They haunted by it, okay. They sitting back thinking like, damn, I messed up this whole relationship. I because you you done got away from this person is what it looked like. I done got you know I done messed up this whole relationship. If I would have just been honest with Scorpio, I could have had Scorpio. But somebody and it looks like they cheated with somebody they wasn't even interested in. I don't know what's going on with Scorpio. Jackpot? Yeah, because you the jackpot. Now they thinking about you. How y'all could have had it all together. How you was the winning ticket, but they let you go. They let somebody else scratch you off, honey. Love on the brain. Yeah, they missing you. Nostalgic. Because they realize same shit, just a different day grudge holder. They lost their chance, so you did. This person could have been holding a grudge against you, or they like been holding a grudge against their past life, or something. Um, something that's been keeping them stuck and stagnant here. Yeah, legal issues at movie. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I've been up since like three, I think. I think I woke up at three this morning. This person, some of y'all, this person's getting like kicked out because they haven't been paying their bills with the legal issues at moving. Like this is like eviction. Others of you, you could be moving on from this person. Oh, there's a there's a karmic too, obsessive lover. They could be involved with a karmic right now or in a connection with a karmic and the lonely card. Or they could be the karmic, okay? This person doesn't like to be alone. They like to be surrounded by people. It looks like they're trying to distance themselves from this situation here, though. Scarcity tactics, but they may be afraid. Or this could be them attached to another person they're trying to get away from, but this person's holding on to them. I don't know what the hell is going on. A Scorpio. Fake smiles. This could be one of those relationships where they pretend to be happy. Dirty offer. Like on Facebook, they like, hey. but in real life, they going back and forth. They arguing. What's going on with Scorpio? Travel. They want to come towards you, Scorpio. Idle. Too busy winning. Yeah, but they feel stuck. They, it's something stopping them. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a person or if it's the universe or something like that. Yeah, because you have vibing. This is what they really want. They really want this good energy into you, good chemistry, great vibes, positive, and then an offer. They want to come forward and offer you something. But this person, I feel like this could have been somebody you were involved with. I'm telling you, that it could have broke broke up a relationship with you, got with somebody else, or messed around with somebody else. They're going through karma, but they're it's like they why aren't they come? Why the travel card? I'm phased because you you don't you're not bothered. You're not bothered. Ego. And this person knows, excuse me, when they, you're ignoring them, yeah. Wasting time. You see them as a waste of time. You see them as they wasted your time. Like, you might feel like this person took your time, your energy, your effort, your money, especially if they did you wrong in some sort of way, right? And they didn't repay you or, or they didn't give to you equally, right? And so now you're moving on, you're moving forward, and you're unfazed. And this person sees you and they're looking at you as like this beautiful pot of gold, and they want to come towards you here, but you're ignoring them, right? And so their ego will not allow them to come forward. But they want you. But their ego, it's like, 
when they come towards you, they know that they're going to have an ego death. That is going to be their karma. Because this person could have been on their motherfucking high horse. Like, oh, I'm the shit. I don't need you. I can be this without you. I'm this. Da, 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 da. Remember, manipulation. Treating you like a puppet, right? I don't need you. I can, I can do this. I can do that. I can do this without you, right? If this person was to come back, they would have to go through that ego death and say, damn, everything I did to you and said to you was wrong. It was wrong and I'm sorry. Like, they would have to admit that they know that. And this is what I feel like is keeping them from moving towards you here. Because whoever this is, I feel like they've done you really dirty, Scorpio. Like, dirty. This that grimy dirty. Like, you got up out the mud type of shit. Had to, like, pick it off inch by inch. But you're showing up all squeaky clean, looking good, feeling good, smelling good. Mm. Mm. Okay. What's going on with Scorpio? Any other cards? Yeah, same shit, just a different day. Girl fight. And if you want to know if they've changed, they have it. Look, no facts. Never has facts. Make shit up in lies. They're still living in lies. They're still fighting and arguing. You got people competing against them or for them and shit like that. They're still in that energy. And you over here winning. Too busy winning the idol. You over here winning. You over here leveling up, doing good shit happening in your life. I just heard going, going on shopping sprees. And those late night things, whatever they be saying, okay? So y'all shopping, you know, enjoying your life, vacationing, doing things, being well respected, looked up to, admired. Some y'all can have like a platform, a business, people see you. I mean, you just winning. And they eyes you winning. And in they eyes, it's like, damn, ain't nothing changing. I'm still, I'm still going through the same shit, reflecting. Nothing's changing. I'm still. I'm still in that same energy. I still work at the same fucking job. I still make the same amount of money. Ain't nothing changed. Been living in the same fucking apartment. Ain't elevated. The only thing that's going up is the fucking rent. Like, it's you, you see what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with you living in an apartment at all. Oh, look at little birdie. He's so cute. He's like this big. Um, but it's like this person here, it's like nothing's changing. Especially if, especially if you live in like, you know, Below your, your uh, which most of us are, because I mean, it's hard out here, you know. But like this person here is like, they could really change their life. They have the potential to change their life. But they're choosing to stay in this type of lifestyle. Like this type of person, if they wanted to do better, they could by going to get another job. But instead, they work their one job, 40 hours a week. They don't work no overtime. They don't do nothing extra. They get paid enough to cover the rent, cover the utilities, and that's it. And then they take the rest of the money, go party, drink, turn up, uh, have females fighting over them and stuff like that. For what? For what? You see what I'm saying? What are we fighting for? When when nothing's changing. Same shit, just a different day. And I feel like you over here, Scorpio, you got your mind set on other things. Like, man, I'm trying to travel. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. Like, you got these big dreams happening for you. And this person, they're just... They're just stuck. And they watch you. Especially if you got children by them. Fake accounts, child services. Yeah, they watch. If you wonder why they ain't been uh, picking up their kids and shit like that, it's because they mad. They jealous. Yeah, boss bitch coming out. Yeah, they watch you. Some of y'all, they get information through the kids on you. Oh, that's petty. <laughs> that's petty. They get information uh, from the kids on you here. Yeah, moves in silence because you're moving in silence. You're not, you're not announcing your moves. You're not saying shit that you're doing. You're just doing it. you out here doing you letting your work and, and stuff like that speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? you like, nah, bitch, I'm going to move in silence. And y'all know if y'all have been on my channel for a while, I always tell y'all, move in silence. Don't announce it. Don't sound an alarm. Let people know what you got going on. Move in silence. Watch how much you accomplish when you move in silence. Because then you ain't got to worry about nobody in your business, for one. Two, you got to think of every project like a little infant. If you tell somebody what's going on that you're trying to build, you're trying to grow, you're trying to nurture, they're going to kill it because it can't defend itself. So don't tell your business. That's why I always say move in silence. Maybe I've been doing it for a while and it's been great. Not having to worry about nobody else's opinion, telling me what I need and can't do. Uh -uh, I ain't got to hear none of that, baby. What you been doing? I don't know. Shit, sleeping, relaxing. Shh. Nothing really. Going to work, coming home. You know, same shit, just this day. <laughs> That's what I say. 
But a lot of y'all been moving in silence and y'all been bossing the fuck up. And everything that you've been working on has been showing for itself. Like it's speaking for itself. There's no need for you to be like, oh yeah, I got this, I got that. Y'all not doing none of that. But some of y'all, this person, if if y'all got old enough kids that got like Facebook and stuff like that, they you they use the kids account to watch y'all. <laughs> Just so you know. Uh yeah, they be logging in to see y'all fake flexing. See, they out here doing this. This is the life they live in. You over here living this life. They out here living out loud. Yeah, I got this. Just dropped this new chain. Just got this new chain. Just did this. Just did that. Popping bottles. Da, da, da. They're the brokest ones. Fake flexing. Somebody does it for the gram. Somebody does it for the clout. Somebody, you see what I'm saying? But you, you over here doing it for you. Doing it for your generation. Doing it for, you know, other purposes. Doing it to help people. But this person here, this type of person, you, ooh, this is the type of person that they go out and they help somebody or give to somebody. And they got the camera like, yeah, you see, I'm donating to this person, getting them out the street, doing this. Doing no, don't do that. No, I mean, no offense to anybody that does that, but don't do that. If you're going to give, give to somebody, help somebody if you're going to help them. You don't need to tell nobody. Baby, donate anonymously. Help them. And then you ain't got to say, hey, yeah, I just helped this person. No, you ain't got to say that. Just help them. You see what I'm saying? Somebody, but somebody... It's like they got to have the clout. They got the, yeah, into you, good chemistry, great vibes, positive. It could be because they're trying to get attention from you. They're trying to be seen or they're trying to make, this is like, they try to get people to look at them and be like, oh, wow, they're they're a really nice person. They're a really loving person. Oh, they're so sweet. But they not, you know, they just doing it so that they can get the recognition and offer so they can get offers from people so that people can come to be, come to them and be like, oh, man seeing what you did oh thank you yes i'm just loving i'm so loving i'm so caring all that shit right but behind closed doors they evil as fuck you see what i'm saying but you you're like moving in silence you're you know making stuff happen not announcing it you know i like this energy i like your energy scorpio i like your energy a lot this is the type of energy i can't stand the one I, look look what i'm doing Look what I'm doing. Check this out. No, don't do that. Don't do it. Like me personally, I barely post my children. I barely post my kids. And it's not because I don't love them. Baby, I love them with every freaking blood vessel in this body. Okay. But it's like, I don't need people to acknowledge what I do for my kids that I'm a good mom. I don't need that. I don't need that acknowledgement. I know I'm a damn good mom. You know what I'm saying? I do it for my kids. I don't, I'm not going to push a, a camera. Hey, look. Look at my kids. Look what I bought them. Look what I did. I don't need to do that. And I feel like whoever this energy is, they feel like they need to do this. And I don't like that. I mean, that's me personally. It's not about me. But anyway, that could be somebody y'all dealing with or somebody that's in your energy or something like that. This could be somebody that, you know, does stuff for your children. And then they be like, see? See what I did for your kids? See? Uh-uh. Baby, matter of fact, don't do nothing else for them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't need you to do shit for them, okay? If I didn't buy it, they don't need it. Like, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be doing all this, like, oh, da, 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 uh, don't do nothing else for them, then, okay? I don't need you to. Let's see, what else do you have for Scorpio, please, dear? Any other messages? A card just flipped over. Thoughts? Yeah, you're on somebody's mind here. Whoever this is, you've left them out in the cold. This could be a family dynamic. You left a family with this person. You could have children with this person. Or this could be a father, you know, mother figure, something like that. But they're definitely thinking about you. What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? Courtship. They could be in another relationship or in another family dynamic as well. Um, mature woman and pathway. Y'all could have part ways, went different routes, went on different paths. And this person's watching you. I'm telling you, it's like this person's over here in this energy and you're over here in this different energy. Main male, sudden wealth, male or female. They're looking at you as abundance, as successful, as abundant, as, you know, you got it going on here. The thief card, the great fortune. I'd be careful with this energy, though, because you got a thief right in the middle of great fortune and sudden wealth. This person could be trying to figure out how to come towards you, to take from you, steal from you, take advantage of you here. What's going on? Despair. Yeah, they're going through hard times. They may not be as stable. What I tell you, this is the energy I was picking up on a false person. They're fake. They're phony, whoever this is. Judication, toil, and labor. And it's all because of what they chose to work towards or work or put their time, energy, and effort in. 
It's the decisions that they made here is why they are in the position they are in. But whoever this is, they're going through it, okay, Scorpio. And they look at you and they're looking at you in this energy like, damn, Scorpio really got it going on. And then they over here in this energy of same shit just a different day. Nothing's really happening for them. And so, yeah, sudden wealth and thief. So be careful with this energy, allowing this person into your energy field or giving to this person in some sort of way. And I'm not saying you can't help people, but this particular person here, this is one you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Uh, so just be careful, Scorpio. What's that the thief? Yeah, great fortune. Honey. Okay. <laughs> I, ain't, I don't even want to say nothing on that. But anyway, y'all get it. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.